teaching children to hate others because of their skin color. Critical race theory was once an obscure academic concept. Now, as students head back to school, it's a fixture in the fierce U.S. debate over how to teach children about the country's history and race relations. Conservatives have invoked the term to denounce curricula and policies they deem too liberal. This was supposed to be a routine school board meeting in Virginia. Instead, it was pandemonium, as hundreds of parents flooded the auditorium. Critical race theory is anti-white, and it's not American. Let's roll back the clock to unpack what's happening. Critical race theory, or CRT, is an approach to studying U.S. policies and institutions that is most often taught in law schools. Law professors in the 70s began exploring how race and racism have shaped American law and society. The theory rests on the premise that racial bias, intentional or not, is baked into U.S. laws and institutions. The term gained a foothold after the murder of George Floyd in May 2020. Individuals and institutions began grappling with how racism persists in modern-day American society. In September 2020, conservative journalist and researcher Christopher Rufo went on Fox News to decry the anti-bias training happening in federal agencies as an example of critical race theory. Shortly after, President Donald Trump's administration directed federal agencies to cease such training, calling it, quote, divisive un-American propaganda. Why did you decide to do that? They were teaching people that our country is a horrible place, it's a racist place, and they were teaching people to hate our country. And I'm no not going to did. allow that to happen. Vice President Biden? Nobody's doing that. He's just, he's oh, the you, racist. You, you just don't. President Joe Biden has since overturned that executive order. In the year since Trump's executive order, conservative politicians, parents, and right-wing media have deployed the term to denounce discussions of racism, white privilege, or diversity initiatives in U.S. public schools. Remember that school being bombarded by parents in Virginia? Scenes like this happened across the country. My youngest looks very white, so they would look at her and say, you are an oppressor. I just, I don't see how that's productive. I don't see how it's accurate, and I don't see how it's not gonna <laughs> cause society to move further apart. Would you not teach what happened during World War I or World War II or the American Revolution? No, you wouldn't. We need critical race theory because we need real history. At least eight Republican-led states have passed legislation restricting how the concept of race can be taught. In Tennessee, a new law was passed in May that dictates lessons cannot make students feel, quote, discomfort, guilt, or anguish because of their race or sex. Public school districts across the U.S. in liberal and conservative counties alike have insisted that they do not teach the theory. Reuters spoke with two Tennessee teachers who say they and some of their colleagues are unsure how to teach accurately about slavery and other painful chapters of American history without violating the new law. 